Tell you what, I hadn't been up here in a while, and you know, we're able to. Uh, Actually, our education game went really, really well. Uh, Emily Logan was in charge of it in our marketing department and did a great job of getting a bunch of screaming kids out. And I thought we played really well against Mississippi State. Um, you know, to be down by five, actually by two, when they hit the half-court shot at half, we felt that we were pretty much in the game. And you know, down the stretch, uh, you know, just kind of some turnovers kind of hurt us. But I thought we played really well, and it was it was fun to play in front of a crowd, uh, you know, young crowd, and try to promote our sport. Um, and then from there on, you know, from from there we go to Ole Miss uh, right before Christmas, and uh, I thought we played really well to hold them to 42 points. An SEC opponent on the road, I thought was pretty big, and um, uh, was a good win for our program. I think this is the second uh, win that we have over Ole Miss uh, since we've been here in a year period. So it's been good. I think we're two and three against them. Um, and then we go to Jackson State last night, and I think just. Uh, with some of the injuries we have and shortage of people. Uh, it's not an excuse, but uh, didn't play well the first or second quarter and were able to come back the second, I mean the third and fourth quarter and played really well. Uh, shot the ball better. I think we scored 27 points in the third quarter, so we were able to kind of get our scoring going. Uh, first half, I think we were shooting like 20% from the field, so that, that hurt us. But uh, you know, now we've got to regroup going into conference uh, this week. and, and uh, See what we have. We're not sure, what, you know, who's going to be available or not. So you said you don't know what to expect from this, Jackson. I mean, you said that in the last press yeah. conference because it's always kind of a weird game. So was it just kind of holiday hangover, and, and how much do you take out of that game moving forward? Well, I think it was a, a mixture of a lot of things. You know, uh, the referees were 45 minutes. I mean, we warmed up four different times. You know, and I'm not excused, but you know, and I didn't really worry about it as a coach. I tried, just tried to put it out. I actually locked myself in the locker room while they were warming up. We warmed up, and then at the 40-minute mark uh, before the game was supposed to start, they came and said the referees would be 30 minutes late, so they put 30 minutes more on the clock. Well, that ran out, and they said, well, we're going to put 15 more minutes on the clock, and they did. So I didn't really know what to do with the kids because we really have a – a set routine that we do, and it was thrown off. I mean, theirs was off, off too, but so it was one of those games that, I mean, it was just sloppy. You know, we couldn't shoot the ball, we didn't defend. It took us a whole half to get warmed up to, to start playing basketball. So, and then, it, you know, coming off the break and all that, you always were. Hopefully, this is the game that we got rid of everything and we can start to play like we normally play. <laughs> So you think that? I think yeah. I think it was a combination. You know it was bad. Yeah, it could you know, and that's why you do it. You know, it's not fun while you do it, but yeah, you do it to try to make sure that we can get going in in these important games, these conference games that are coming up. Especially these two are going to be extremely important. So tell us about what you're facing matchup wise. Um, I mean, Georgia State is really talented. You know, I, I know they haven't. Uh, Played early on as uh, as good as we I expected them to, but uh, they got a lot of talent. You know, they got some guard play that's really good, uh, um, and and pretty much almost all the team returning. I, that's the thing that's surprising me is uh, you know people are scoring a little bit on them now, and I didn't expect that. I thought they would be a little bit better defensively, but. Uh, you know, they, uh, that'll be a tough matchup. Georgia Southern played Ole Miss pretty good. I mean, they're, they're athletic. They're a brand new coach. They're playing really, really hard for her. I think there's a, b a big difference in how hard they're playing. So it's going to be a, uh, a matchup of guards. I mean, they don't really have a lot of size. So it's going to be a small ball game. I mean, just it's, uh, they play small ball too. So. Um, I don't really know what to expect for them because it's a new coach. You know, watching some of the film and all that and what they're running, it's, it's, it's pretty simplified. But uh, the expectation of, uh, of how, you know, how we're going to guard them, what we're going to do is still up, kind of up in the air. It's always important, but for this group, how important is it to get off to a pretty good starting conference and not kind of put yourself behind the eight ball? You know, Kevin, we haven't really had, I mean, in the eight year period, we never really had a lot of home games early on. And, you know, in college basketball, home games are extremely important. And I think right now, I think what we have five out of six on the road. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not sure how we come up with scheduling. I, I wish we. Could have that answer, and it would change. If it could change every other year, it would be fine, you know. But uh, it seems like we're on the road. And can you get off? To, I mean, if we get off to a good start, 
with five games on the road, the first five, I mean, that'd be awesome for us. You know, we, we just haven't in eight years that we've been here. Our start, it's always our finish, you know, and I think, I think it carries over into the tournament. But um, I thought going to the Georgia schools right away, I thought we'd have a, a pretty good chance of, uh, of splitting like we're always talking about. And, and hopefully we can do that. But, man, if we could, you know, get a couple of wins on the road, I think that would be, a, that would be good for us to, to kind of motivate us. Now, if we could go undefeated in these, in these next six games, that would be really huge for us, you know. You mentioned injuries. You have new injuries? Uh, yeah, we have a knee injury to a Jasmine Thomas that happened last night. Uh, that we'll, They'll evaluate the next. They'll do therapy on her for the next two weeks. She'll be uh, probably out in at least two weeks. So. We'll see um, how that goes, um, and then. You are a recurrence of the old. No, it's a new one. It's actually her good knee that she had never really had any problems with. So um, we know it's not an ACL tear. So that's the great thing about it. It's just going to be take some rehab and some reevaluation to see where we'll be at, uh, and we're projecting, you know, a week or two on that. And then with Ty Doucette, she got hit in the head. So she's she's not even in conduct, conduct, uh, concussion protocol, but they're, they're evaluating her day to day. And that so, happened last night? No, uh, against Ole Miss. She did, uh, Ty didn't play last night. Oh, okay. And then Skyler Goodwin was out last night, but she was, with, uh, sick. She was just been sick with a sinus infection and all that. So we had some people out last night, actually two starters out last night. They must have been really last night before that game while you were waiting and you got yeah it was it was kind of it was kind of a it was kind of a different situation that you ne I've really never been in where you have to wait on referees to to show up and then how do you warm up a kid you know not, if I had to do it over I would have just kept them in the locker room and try to figure out where when the 40 minutes would have, or I would have made them start the 40 minutes like we normally do but I mean it just took so long and you know uh I know everybody around us was waiting, so it was just it was a tough situation for the kids too. But the good thing about it is you know that second half, man, and for us to play like we did and and uh, to come back, I was I was really pleased. Any questions? Um, no. Uh, my question was with the win um, against Ole Miss. I, mean, I guess it's interesting because you win against Ole Miss. Obviously, you have a funny game like you did yesterday against Jackson State. But, like, how do you carry the confidence of we played well against Mississippi State, we beat Ole Miss, like, we can we can do this. Like, we can conquer the conference if we play like this on a night-to-night -night basis. Well, I mean, I think it's a perfect example to the media, too, like for Bob and them, too, is, like, when you don't have your players, it's very difficult to play against whoever, you know. You, when you got to start – subbing and starting with different lineups and man I, at one point yesterday in the second quarter I mean I'm looking and man I'm, you just don't feel comfortable with the different lineups and it's not the it's just a mixture of lineups you know these kids can play but they if you put them in a position where they can be successful in their role and last night was a little difficult because we couldn't because we didn't I mean our in, inside presence of Di, Ty Doucette is huge for us man I mean she scores 18 20 against a SEC school I mean I mean, even against Mississippi State, she didn't play as well offensively, but she did a lot of good things defensively. So when you start to sub that and all that, it's, I mean, I don't know what the answer is, man. It's just that you, I know one thing, you don't become as good a coach when you don't have as good a player. It's, 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 it's difficult. So, you know, I feel for Bob and him. You know, we went through this last year, you know, and everybody was like, oh, man, this team's not that good. We were that good. We just didn't have the players that were available. And, you know, Stevie P says it all the time. Uh, availability is the best ability. You know, you got to have those kids. Got to be available, and it's just it's just a little bit on the tougher side. Don't knock that podium over. Uh, <laughs> um, but I guess I guess my real question was, um, can you like? Do you feel like that momentum is killed, or like can you carry that momentum? Because it sounds like yesterday just was a, it may never happen again. Like it's just really weird. So can you carry the momentum of? Ole Miss and Mississippi State into conference play, or do you feel like the injuries or whatever else uh, kind of 
Doesn't allow it to yeah, and I think I meant for the game yesterday, you know, you look at it and so you could take it as a negative effect. Well, we're not as good as we thought we were. No, that's not it at all because, I mean, the, again, the availability of – well, we have all our kids available when our team is a complete team because we're a team, you know. We're playing 10, 11 kids, but we need all 10, 11 kids to be able to come in and when they – feel or we we make sure that we f put them in a situation where they feel more comfortable that was the thing last year we were never comfortable i mean if you notice this play it was like it was all we could stay in the game but it wasn't a comfortable feeling for the kids and then it doesn't feel com we were comfortable this year you know against mississippi or oh, given whoever and so now we you know we just got to get everybody back so we can you know put them in and i think the momentum build is i have complete confidence in our kids you know i mean we played hard against mississippi state played really well Ole miss you know you go get a win so we got to continue that on you know it's like can we keep on building on that i think that's an important thing too you know and we got to show that in practice today and you know continue on as coaches you know we can't hang our heads because people aren't available you got to find a way to continue to get better and we did the second half you know the first half didn't really work out it was probably one of the worst halves we had all year some of it a hangover from being you know I mean I know the other coach was kind of complaining about being off four or five days and how are they going to come back and you know it's uh, and we didn't have great practices coming back but that's why we you know we do it you know I wish we could ever figure out a way to start conference later and I know that will never happen but it uh, I mean around Christmas time you know we are these kids are kids and they have families so you have to let them enjoy some part of their lives and let them go back home and that's just kind of part of uh, how do you evaluate that and I'm I'm one man I'm a family guy I, I want them to be able to go and enjoy Christmas is huge to us you know and so I think that's that's a tough thing you know it's like is basketball more important or is family so you got you're trying to balance it it's tough it's a tough balance